sometimes I run, sometimes. <laughs> it's Friday the 3rd of April, currently 4.49. I finished work at just before 4 o'clock today. Went and walked Robin and then I went for my daily exercise around the block and the park. And now I'm home, I've just got changed. <clears throat> I'm actually a bit red cheek because it's quite cool outside. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to attempt to make these pasta shells, well not make them, just cook them. But my aim is to cook them and then fill them with like spinach and ricotta cheese um, and make a really delicious pasta dish. So I thought I would vlog and show you the process. And uh, yeah, is this interesting? I don't know, we hope, we hope it's interesting, um, but yeah. So if you haven't already, I uploaded a vlog yesterday, just kind of giving an update as to the current situation that the whole world is in right now and how I've been dealing with it and how I've been feeling. Um, and thank you for everyone who's kind of watched it and commented on it. I hope it's helped some people. It definitely helps to voice what's on your mind. And also I feel like it's it really does help to hear how other people are coping and how other people are dealing with the situation. So I hope that helped. And um, yeah, just explain kind of like how I've been feeling over the past couple of days, weeks. Although it feels like months. But um, yeah, today we are going to cook this pasta dish and we're going to enjoy it. So yeah, let's get cooking. I'm going to put the music on now because I'm going to stop recording and I'll switch you in a bit. Peace. If you can hear me, at the moment we have our pot boiling with water, well, close to boiling. We have a pan with our mints in. This, this is minced beef and then I've just kind of added a ton of spices. Seasonings are paprika, oregano, salt, pepper and garlic powder. And then over here we have the shells ready to go into the boiling water. And then we have ricotta. Once the meat has been cooked, I'm just gonna leave it on the side. And then I'm gonna wilt a lot of spinach, probably this whole entire bag. And then I'll mix it with the ricotta and some egg and some spices, I think, in a bowl. And then that will be the filling to go into the shells. So it's quite a few steps, but I feel like it's gonna be a really nice tea to have. And let's face it, we're in quarantine, so we have enough time to do nice dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to my cooking and I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, so give you a little update. The pasta is still cooking. It should be done soon. I've just put a layer of pasta sauce in the baking dish. I've left my mint here just to cool down a little bit. And then here I've made the pasta filling. So this is the ricotta, spinach, a ton of different herbs and spices, salt and pepper. And then I've also added some cheddar cheese into it. So this is what will go into the shells. I'll put the shells in and then I'm gonna to top it with the minced meat and the rest of the sauce. Looks good, looks good. Okay, so the shells are now filled. I forgot to show you before I like topped it over with the mince meat. So in here we have the shells filled with the ricotta cheese and then I've topped it with the mince and just put the rest of the ricotta on top. And then on top of that, we are gonna add, I'm gonna add the rest of the pasta sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, gonna top that with some grated cheese. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. This looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna say it did look better before I topped it with the mints. I feel like it looks very ugly, but I'm gonna cover it now with some tin foil and pop in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes and then I'll show you the end result. Wish me luck, because if this doesn't taste good, I'm going to cry. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I really shouldn't be running with this in my hand. Just thought, as it is Friday, it is the weekend, although we may have to stay indoors all weekend, still make it as fun as possible. And I just thought, I just remembered that last week, was it last week? Last week or the week before? I think it was last week. I made a batch of cookie dough and thank you to my sister for the top tip, the world's best top tip. I made, I think it was like four or six cookies at the time and then the rest of the dough I froze and then now, anytime I want fresh cookies, I just take the dough out of the freezer, 
chop it into some chunks, usually like four cookies that mean peak up to each. Pop them in the oven for 10 minutes and you have freshly baked cookies. Such a good tip and I highly recommend it to anyone. I think I just used the BBC Food, like traditional cookies recipe, I think. I'll leave the link in the down bar below to go and check it out. But there's like a little bit of dough left over. So I thought with the leftover dough, I'm just gonna cut this into some cookie shapes. And then later, after dinner, we have fresh cookies to eat, which is cute. I'm so cute. <clears throat> ah! I would recommend being really careful when you do this because if you accidentally chop your finger off, um, chances are you probably won't want to go to hospital. <laughs> I'm literally going to stick these in the oven for 10 minutes and I'll show you how they look. There we go, four fresh chocolate and white chip cookies ready for tonight's little Friday treat celebration. These smell so good. I literally popped them in the oven for eight minutes and when you get them out, they are really soft and squidgy, but just leave them and once they cool, they will like firm up a bit, but they are really soft, gooey cookies anyway. So my mouth is watering already. These smell so good. It is a lot later now. I've just got the pasta dish out of the oven and it's bubbling. It smells really, really good, but I'm gonna let it sit and rest for a bit and then serve it up for dinner. Yes, this looks so freaking good. Hi everyone, it is a little bit, it is a little bit, it's a lot. A lot lighter now on the evening. It's currently 8 p.m. The dishwasher's just kicking off. I have just had my shower and got fresh, put on some PJs and I'm gonna make a cup of tea and have a couple of cookies and just chill out for the rest of this evening. I hope you've enjoyed this like cooking with me vlog. I didn't really do much today apart from work, so I was like, I'm not gonna film a whole day vlog because I'm not really doing anything much apart from sitting at a desk or sitting on call. So I thought cooking little vlog might be fun. So I hope you enjoyed today's little vlog subject. For those of you who are curious, dinner was delicious. This is leftovers, there was a lot. So there's leftovers for tomorrow to be fair, um, but it tasted so nice. I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. Last time I made these shells, I don't think I cooked them long enough, so they were like chewy. Not the best, but today I cooked them perfectly. Then in here, as you saw earlier, I made the chocolate chip cookies that I'm gonna have and enjoy in a few moments. I think for the rest of this evening, I'm just gonna chill. Probably gonna FaceTime my sister back because she just rang me. Um, and then chill out for the evening and maybe put some on Disney Plus. Let me know if you've got Disney Plus, what have you been enjoying watching? Not the best lighting. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's little vlog. I might vlog tomorrow. If not, I will probably vlog on Sunday. Thank you for watching as always. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop now because this lighting is really bad. Okay, gonna go. Thank you for watching as always. And until next time, peace. <laughs>